Hi there, uh, welcome to another uh, video tutorial. I'm Josef Botnar. In this uh, video tutorial, uh, I'm going to talk uh, about uh, how to enter data into range and uh, how uh, to copy data into range uh, using uh, Excel uh, 2016. If you want uh, to enter data into range, uh, you should uh, select uh, your uh, range, starting uh, with a certain uh, cell. For example, uh, I'm going to select uh, C5. I'm going to press uh, the left side of the mouse and uh, I'm going to keep uh, pressed uh, my finger on the left side of the mouse and I'm going to drag the mouse to the side uh, where I want uh, my selection uh, to go. For example, to the right side and uh, you go uh, there where you want uh, your selection to be stopped. Uh, for example, uh, I want to go to column F and after uh, I drag uh, the selection down uh, till uh, the row 10 and uh, now I release uh, my uh, mouse. And uh, here you go. This is uh, my uh, selection. This is my range which uh, it is uh, from uh, C5 to F10. And uh, here you see white uh, background, which is uh, the cursor, and uh, you will uh, uh, start to enter uh, data uh, where the cursor will be. In my case, uh, it's here on the first uh, cell, uh, C5. So uh, I'm going to start to enter the data. Let it be A and I press enter. Have you noticed uh, how uh, the cursor uh, went uh, downwards after I press enter? B, enter, C, enter, D, enter, E, enter and uh, F. If I want to go uh, upwards, I'm going to use uh, shift enter and uh, you can see how the cursor it goes uh, upward. If I want to change the color, I use a tab and uh, the cursor went uh, to another column, column D. And uh, let's enter here uh, some uh, data. Let it be values like uh, 100, enter, 150, enter, 200, enter, 250, 300, and uh, 350. If I want to go uh, upwards again, I press uh, Shift Enter and I go upwards. If I want to change uh, the column or if I want to go onwards, I press Tab and I, again I can enter uh, some values or uh, some uh, data. If uh, I want to go uh, backwards, on the row, I can use a shift tab and you go backwards. You can go again uh, upwards with a shift enter. And if you want to go uh, onwards, you press uh, tab. If you want to go downwards, you press enter. And here, 550, 600, 650. Now I go uh, again uh, upwards, shift enter. I change the column with the tab and uh, I'm going to enter uh, again uh, data 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, and 950. So, uh, to resume, if you want to go uh, upwards into your selection, uh, press uh, Shift uh, Enter. If you want to go um, backwards, you uh, press um, Shift Tab. If you want to go uh, downwards, uh, press Enter. If you want to change uh, your column or if you want to go onwards, press uh, tab. Also, you can uh, change the size uh, of uh, the range. So you can uh, do this uh, range uh, bigger or smaller. 
if I leave uh, my uh, cursor there on uh, E7 cell, and uh, I'm gonna to press Shift, and I'm gonna to use the arrows to modify the size of the of this uh, range. I'm gonna to press now the right arrow, and you can notice how the uh, range. Uh, is modified so it goes uh, to the right uh, side it goes bigger to the right side because i uh, pressed the right arrow if i want this uh, range uh, to get a bigger downwards i press down arrow if i want this selection go uh, upwards i press the arrow up if I want uh, this uh, selection to go left side, I press uh, the arrow left. Yeah, and uh, so on. And uh, yeah, you can uh, change your selection as you want. And uh, you can uh, move uh, after your uh, cursor with tab, with uh, shift uh, enter, and you can uh, enter uh, further. If you want to stop your range, you just uh, give a click inside the range and uh, this selection uh, will uh, disappear. If you, uh, you want to copy uh, data into a range, you select uh, the range uh, where you want to copy that uh, data. For example, I enter 100 and I want uh, this uh, 100 to be copied in uh, into this uh, range. So I'm going to press Control enter so I'm going to press Control enter here you go so uh, this uh, 100 was copied all over inside this uh, range after I pressed uh, Control enter so uh, that's all for today thank you for watching this video tutorial I'm waiting for you to watch uh, my another video tutorials see you next time